An MRI magnet is an extremely powerful magnet that is actually 1.5 Tesla. Uh, if you think about the magnets that are used to move cars around in junkyards, that's about 1.5 Tesla. If you get an idea of the uh, the power of these of these magnets. In order to get a magnet to have a 1.5 Tesla field strength, it's basically a giant electromagnet. It's got an electrical current running through it. When you add liquid helium and take that temperature down to negative 452 there is essentially zero resistance for that electrical current. A quench basically is a dramatic evacuation of helium in an MRI. There's a red button that is always in an MRI suite, and that's the quench button. And what that does is artificially heats up the magnet. As the temperature of the magnet goes up, that resistance is no longer at zero. The magnet keeps getting hotter, resistance gets greater until it becomes uh, unstable and it results in a sudden loss of helium. And there's actually two types of quenches. There could be a safety issue, some it could get, could get stuck. Uh, sometimes that, that does happen uh, where you would have to literally quench the magnet. It is not preferred, but it does vent out through the roof of the MRI suite. The other type is, is, a, is a planned quench. When you decommission a magnet, uh, when you're relocating a magnet, in some cases the magnet isn't needed anymore. Maybe it's an old magnet, maybe it's just gonna be going to scrap. In cases like that, uh, you would just literally do a planned quench where you would either quench you know, with, with a button or an engineer would physically go in and, and quench it. In that case, the helium would get vented, uh, the people in the imaging center a lot of times might want to watch it because it's something they haven't seen before. That happens relatively rarely as well. Usually you want to preserve the integrity of the magnet and you're going to take it down the proper way. And sometimes quenches can just happen spontaneously, which is really frustrating. Uh, but it can be, there can be a leak, uh, you know, some valves might, might not be tightened enough. Uh, that could cause a quench. Ice sometimes uh, uh, can form to the extent that it would, um, it would result in a quench. There is a situations where if there's a power outage, uh, it can cause the magnet's cooling system to stop working. And if it was allowed to, uh, to go unrepaired for enough time, then the helium level would, would decrease enough to the point that you're looking at, a, at, at the danger of a quench. Uh, quench is bad for a couple of reasons. The most obvious reason is helium is very expensive. Uh, it can be 20 to $30 a, a liter, and these things hold about mm, around 2,000 liters of helium. And number two uh, would be just the fact that it's, it's, it's distressing for the magnet, and that could be damaging to the, you know, to the inner workings of the magnet to the point where it, it might not even uh, come back. And what also can happen and another reason why you want to have uh, your, your magnet under proper maintenance, you want to keep those helium levels uh, at safe levels, which usually it's above 70%, because if a, if a magnet can, gets below what the, the recommended helium levels are, then all of a sudden you're not cooling the, the, the magnet like you're supposed to. As you decrease that amount of coolant, you're diminishing the, the magnet's ability to keep that helium at negative 452, so it could cause it to heat up too. 